Good morning students. Welcome to the computer class of 5th standard. In the previous session, I have discussed about history of computers and early calculating devices. Today, I am going to discuss generations of computers of lesson number 1, evolution of computers. So students, Open page number 9 of your computer book. Our first topic is first generation computers 1940 till 1956. First generation computers were based on the use of vacuum tubes. These computers used magnetic tapes to store data and relied on machine language to perform any operation. In these computers, input was based on punched cards and paper tapes. Output was displayed on printouts. These computers were slow expensive and large in size. Examples of first generation computers are ENIAC, EDVAC and UNIVAC. Next is second generation computers 1956 till 1963. These computers used transistors in place of vacuum tubes. Second generation computers moved from machine language to assembly language. Assembly language allows the programmers to specify instructions in words. Punched cards and paper tapes were used as input devices and output was presented through printouts. As compared to first generation computers, these computers were faster, cheaper and smaller. Examples of second generation computers are IBM, 1400 and IBM 350. Students, on page number 10, come to the next generation of computers that is third generation computers 1964 till 1971. Integrated circuits were used as the main technology in these computers. Magnetic disks were used for the storage. These computers were small in size, had huge storage capacity and higher calculating speed. Keyboard was used as an input device whereas monitors and printers were used as output devices. IBM system 360 and Apple 1 are some of the examples of third generation computers. Let's continue with fourth generation computers 1972 till present. The present day computers are based on very large scale integrated circuits called microprocessors. The use of microprocessors resulted in 
decreased size and increased efficiency. High capacity magnetic disks are used to store data. In these computers, input is done through keyboard, mouse and scanner. Besides monitor and printer, plotters have evolved as output devices. Examples of fourth generation computers are Apple, Macintosh and IBM PC. Come to the last that is fifth generation computers present and beyond. These computers involve artificial intelligence where computers can behave, think and react in the same way as humans do. The goal of fifth generation computing is to develop devices that respond to natural language input and to imitate human reasoning. Example, robots. Now students, I am going to discuss know the fact and fact file given on page number 9. First, know the fact is physically ENIAC was large in size. It was 100 feet long and 10 feet tall. Second fact file is Andre Triong Trong T is considered to be the father of personal computer for creating the microprocessor based on the Intel 2008 processor in 1973. Second fact file is Lady Augusta Ada Lovelace was an English mathematician she is considered as the first programmer who suggested binary storage instead of the decimal number system. Now students, let's go through some of the full forms. First full form is IC, integrated circuits. Second is VLSIC very large scale integrated circuits and last is AI artificial intelligence. So students I will discuss further topics in my next session. Till then do reading of page number 9 and 10 and revise the full forms. Thank you.